You know when you see something happening before it happens? Just as I looked up there and saw that cart there, I thought you should stop that. Oh well, never mind. These things are sent to try us. Look, <laughs> uh, just a quick look round. Um, you can see this fella here, look. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving him for a moment because I really want to put him back this way. So I'll have to wait until the harvester's been in and done some of this. Just dropping these down. Um, <laughs> look at the state of them. Uh, well, there we go. 
Uh, there was another one just through there earlier on I did with a 30 inch bar on this just for the sake of it and ran very well. I was very pleased with it. Apart from the fact I tightened the chain a slight too much. I hadn't double checked it after I tightened the cover bolts. Anyway, so yeah, great fun. The, uh, there's all sorts of sizes in here. It's, it's hard to believe that these, no, they weren't all planted at the same time. They're obviously left here before. Well, definitely one lot before. So that would make them about 60, I suppose. 45, 50, 60, it's hard to say without looking at the paperwork, but uh, plenty to do anyway, as you can see. Right, I better get this done. Now, uh, just as I'm doing this, uh, our American cousins will say, why don't you, uh, I'm sure you've all seen it on YouTube, the lads on a long bar, 32s, 36s, etc., will, they'll just slacken everything off a bit and tighten it on, but, these 28s are just too rigid for that, unfortunately. So it's a quick, just a quick little job to do this. That'll teach me not to look properly, won't it? <laughs> now, what I tend to do is when this happens, I just, since I've got everything apart, I just have a quick look. Yep, everything's fine, the oil is clear. Sometimes, you know, when you're doing that, it saves putting everything together and finding out you've got an oiling problem. Okay, that's... Um, yeah, it's quite uh, clever the way the American and Canadian lads do it with the longer bars. They can just bend it. Uh, put the rear handle down between your feet um, and I suppose it would be a bit like a bowman bending a bow to put a string on you know that way so obviously a lot quicker but unfortunately I don't have that luxury so let's do that quickly I can't believe I did that so I saw it happening just before it did but hey these things are sent to try us but it says they haven't done that it's telling tales <laughs> right let's just do a little bit try and get this four nine off
done. I just stuck the wedge in there. That's um, the reason I didn't clean that end of the stem up was because it's caught in there in the buttresses of the stump, which is fine. All you're going to do is you're going to catch your chain and blunt it. So that can be done when it's lifted out for the machine. Uh, because of that, it's kind of wanting to roll. And you just know if I hadn't stuck that wedge in there, you'd be messing and messing and messing. It's a lot quicker to stick a wedge in. Stop catching everything. I've made enough mistakes on this already <laughs> with that. Okay, thanks for looking.